Hey guys, it's Peter at Boeing Country Sports Grand Rapids. Welcome back to another Tech Talk Tuesday. This week we're showcasing a few brands. Um, on the hard goods side, we're doing Technica boots, Blizzard skis, and we're also showcasing a little bit of our 686 Grateful Dead. It's like a special collaboration line that they're doing together, which it's definitely one of my favorites, hands down. Um, we'll kind of start with that. Um, this is the back side of the jacket, if you can see. It's a red, white, and blue pattern uh, with the Deadhead logo. And then on the front and on the sleeves, um, you're not gonna be able to see this on the camera, but um, it's little skiing and snowboarding uh, dancing bears. And then up on the uh, shoulder, it's got a skier and a snowboarder, and then another uh, Grateful Dead Deadhead logo with a rose. Um, but it's really cool. It's like a co insulated coach's jacket with a bunch of technical zippers and pockets, and then a removable red, white, and blue hood. Really, really cool. Um, really great price point, too. It's, it comes in under $300. And this is also a super cool interesting idea um, we have these in uh, two different sizes there's a quite large version this is the smaller one that would be for just kind of like a, a throw over um, or would work really well for kids um, so basically what it is it's an insulated waterproof puffer blanket that also has a hood and you're able to fold it in on itself and then it has velcro on the back side of the hood so you actually and they come with like a little uh like drawstring bag so you they're extremely packable for how insulated and heavy duty they are um and then to finish with the grateful deadline uh, pieces that we have here there's also a matching set of pipe glove insulated pipe gloves um, that would go really well with with that coach's jacket so really cool designs um, definitely gonna have to pick that jacket up myself I'm pretty much uh, in love with it um, moving on to uh, Blizzard and Technica um, these are some of uh, the boots that we have to showcase at our Boyne Country Sports locations this year they did an amazing job on their color choices and boot designs for this year. Um, we have our ladies models on this side and men's on this side um, and surprisingly I, I think they did a better job on designing the women's boots in colorways uh, than, than even the men's so this is like one of the coolest boots that I've ever seen. This is a uh, the Cochise and um, it comes with a grip walk sole so super stable to walk on when you're not when you're not on your skis and then this particular boot comes with tech fittings at the toe so it's a true touring boot and then has a mechanism in the back very heavy duty that you can lock and unlock and that allows for 20 degrees of rearward motion um, and loosens up the front. So if you wanted to skin up the hill, do any kind of touring, then this boot is completely and totally capable of that. And even in the 85, um, very similar boot, um, little softer flex comes with the same uh, walk mode, hike mode in the back. Um, the only thing that it doesn't include compared to the 95 is it does not have the tech fitting so if you were going to go want to go touring and you had this boot then you'd have to have a frame heel lift binding um, and not be able to run it in a full um, AT binding and on the men's side um, very similar designs um, this is just this is the Technica low Mach 1 low volume 110 this is just a really high performing um, just front side or back side ski boot uh, but no tech fittings but still comes with the grip walk and minus the uh, hike feature in the back 
and this is a mid-volume version, essentially the same boot, slightly different liner, slightly softer flexing, um, still comes with grip walk, um, but doesn't have um, the CAS foam liner, um, which the CAS foam liner is a proprietary liner from Technica that the heat molding properties of it are very, very awesome. Um, they've, we've had extremely good luck in how they mold. It's kind of comparable to a synthetic cork bit liner like on some of the Nordica boots. Um, so moving on to the skis, um, it's basically the same for men's and women's. We have an 88 waist and an 82 on both the men's and the women's sides. Ladies being the black pearl model, um, the 88 millimeter skis, um, they come with an extra layer of tetanol underfoot for binding retention and edge grip. Um, the 82 millimeter waist models don't come with that, so it's not going to have as, not going to be as stiff underfoot, and you're not going to have that added binding retention. But it does make for a lighter, more playful feel at lower speeds. So maybe if you're um, a less aggressive skier, then and not worried about having the extra. Um, volume under underfoot for buoyancy or going into some softer snow conditions then the 82 is going to be a better option for you at as a less aggressive skier or if you're not worried about going back in deeper snow <clears throat> so same can be said for the 82 and the 88 brahma um, it's literally a carryover they're both constructed um, in the same way as the lady skis. Um, just a little slightly burlier construction and the whole line comes with a proprietary design from Blizzard. It's, um, they've had it for several years and it's what makes these skis famous. It's called Carbon Flip Core and it's this reverse laminate carbon technology with, with uh, wood laminate so it's basically sandwiched together in a non-traditional way, which makes for a pretty significant different feel in the, how the ski skis, but in a very positive way. Um, so this, this line of skis, this line of boots, um, Blizzard and Technica both, um, they are, again, um, not to sound like a broken record, but these co compared to like the vocal line that we showcased last week, this it's 50-50 fight for the most popular skis that we sell and the skis that we sell the most of both men's and women's because they're the best of the best that you can get within those categories. So um, to wrap up, very versatile skis. Um, they can be used on groom trails in a little bit of powder and still have a good amount of buoyancy, both the 82 and the 88 models. Um, so if you're looking for a really well-made all mountain style ski, you can't go wrong with any of these in the lines on the men's or the women's side and including boots as well, all very high quality. Um, that's it for this week, and we will talk to you again next week with another episode. Thanks, guys, and have a good week.